Alrighty guys, it's getting deep now. We're gonna get, we, we are getting deep. So uh, the print finally finished on uh, my add-on, my little buddy block. So he will go on each brick, making these bricks now um, at 2.75 volts each cell. There are 110 volts. So I wouldn't want to charge, they can do 2.9, but I don't want to run them at full power. And the buck that I have found can only do 110. So uh, these can each get a buck permanently on them. And then a 100 volt buck, 110 volt buck can be replaced in this system. Not with this though. Um, he's already out of control. <laughs> he's a way too many KVs for improving much uh, the driving voltage. Anyways, later designs. I only ordered three bucks, so one for each brick and then one for an experimental. I, I only wanted to test them to make sure they are proper. They will work great for the battery extraction, which is what we are, this video is be about. You're going to love it. This is where it gets so fucking awesome. So LTO is by far the best choice. Mm, and I think this system I have, because they are small capacity, and everything. I think he's going to work spectacular. When I explain this to you, you're going to shit your pants. Okay? So, <laughs> trust me. So, imagine this is 100 volts, which is what this would be. Uh, maybe 110 at full charge, but he will have a float from, whatever, 110 down to, what, 80 volts or something. I'll have to find out the cutoff voltage. He will <clears throat> he'll have quite a float. Okay, so this is not configured as input source right now. One of these bricks can be the source, okay? So that will give us a higher potential, more reduction, increase our zero watts running capability. Okay. That happens. We understand that that is not what is taking place here. So as you see, I have two more bricks here, which the, the next brick buddy he is printing right now. So, but this represents a second 100 volt um, LTO brick. So we have 200 volts, 2.5 amp hours. Okay. They're hooked together in series. They both get buck converter because this is where the magic happens. Uh, series charging of these. Okay. And buck converter, buck converter. Here I've brought out the domper for 210 volts. So our 220, whatever he is dumping, it's almost perfect potential difference. But because we go directly from cap directly to LTO, we have this tremendous fucking amps. So we have to scale our capacity in small numbers accordingly to find a balance where we don't blow the shit out of these. And we can run him quick on low power and achieve this massive amp charging. So now these are charged in series. They're discharged in parallel. So we can add as many as we want, you know, if I want 500 volt, then each one gets a buck. And each buck is set to withdraw at the same exact rating, the same exact. We can set it to whatever volt we want because we're going to combine all the bucks into one source to drive inverter. Now this can handle 35 amps each cell. So 35 amps at 100 volts. 35 amps at, at now 200 volts and so forth so as long as our dumper uh -huh, doesn't exceed 35 amps i know this dumper can put out i have seen him do 40 amps to a 12 volt car battery okay with 50 microfarads now the internal resistance of this is like 100 times less than a car battery okay of lead acid so the discharge to this is tremendous now when I used 4,000 no uh, 8,000 8, 7, 7,800 microfarads at 480 volts it completely destroyed a 25 amp hour uh, 52 volt LTO battery whole bunch 200 fucking cells in one blast completely destroyed it so, yeah, now if this is scaled properly and this is working properly, well, then we are going to have tremendous, okay? So this is a DC power supply that has a voltage divider by the way he works. So 
if you increase now your charging to 400 volt dumping because you have a 400 volt pack small microfarads you are going to have um, a feed of 100 volts or whatever you set this to say you got 48 volt inverter you're going to pull 48 